Hello? Can you hear me all right? Are you okay? Is the storm really bad? Oh, sweetheart, you'll be fine. The worst that can happen is a short power outage. Don't stress about it. In the morning, I'll come over with some baked mac and cheese for you. You still like that, don't you? Good. So hang in there till morning. You need to sleep, though. I know I called and probably woke you up. Or the storm is keeping you up. All right, then. I'll stay on the phone for a while. I know it's scary. It's your first night on your own, but be happy, because you have your own place now. No more mummy bugging you and nagging you, right? <laughs> I hope you plan on doing your laundry weekly, though. And eating healthy meals. Oh, and I hope you also don't forget to take your medicine and... Right? Right. Here I go nagging again. I'm sorry, but this is new for both of us. You're my baby, and you're not here anymore, so I worry. I'm not going to grow grey hairs from worrying too much. I've already grown grey hairs from this entire family and their shenanigans. Calm down, sweetie. It's just the wind. Don't panic. Sweetheart, listen to me. It's all fine. <sighs> Remember when you were seven? And we had a storm out here. It was really rainy. That outside was quite flooded. You thought life was over. But your father cuddled you and told you stories to help you forget. This storm, though, isn't nearly as bad, so don't fear. We can still cuddle and tell stories if you want. Yes, I can even bring Grandma and she'll make her cookies and her cocoa. She still won't give me that blasted recipe. Darn old selfish lady, I swear. She gets to have all the family raving over her cookies and she won't share the recipe with me. Her daughter. It could be an heirloom or something. Pass it down to me so I can get all the compliments and all the children's favor. Forget about your uncle. My brother doesn't even cook. I should get the recipe. What do you mean he also wants it? I left her pride out of my cold dead hands to get it. Cause that recipe is mine. Yes, it's that serious. No one touched my cookies last gathering we had. But oh, your grandmother came with pounds of cookies. So no one even bothered with mine. Right. I'll be Grandma tomorrow and watch her every move to get the recipe. But then if she bakes them at her house, I don't have a chance. You know she always chases me out of her kitchen. For an old woman with a cane, she can run fast when she wants to get rid of me. But what's the matter, darling? Are you alright? Oh, you're drowsy? Alright then, I'll let you go. Sleep well and wake up tomorrow with an empty stomach so I can fill it. Good. Sweet dreams, darling.